Hi, my name's Simon from TradeRoomPlus.com and today we're going to be looking at the asset of the day, which are global indices. So let's have a look at the uh, FTSE 100. Uh, had a bit of weakness on Friday, but today we look like recovering. We still look like we've got a bit of an ascending trend line here that, that's relatively neat-ish. Um, we can roughly see direction. If I can remember how to draw a line on a chart, then we're good. They're I mean, not too probably far from being sort of parallel lines, are they? Um, rough, very rough, a sort of ascending channel. But you get, you, get, you see what I'm talking about here as the as the market continues to grind up. Now these are quite tricky because it is an uptrend, but um, being able to sort of get on board of them and and, and look for appropriate pullbacks and, and selling points isn't always easy. But it still looks like the FTSE is moving up quite nicely. I'd have had a bit, a pretty nasty day on Friday, but but we're starting to retrace that. I had quite a bit of US strength today, as as we'll look at as well. So it'll be interesting to see if it uh, wants to uh, push up towards that. And then we can potentially look for a double top market comes up here, finds resistance, pulls down. Or maybe today's low was rejected stro so strongly. I think we could probably just look at potentially buying that up as well. Um, now, because of the extra volatility of these past two days, you know, the, all this sideways chop, there's not really a great deal going on um, with, with, with uh, this level where we are now around sort of that... Uh, 7100 level we need to wait for some extensions because there's not really any obvious daily levels you know i like levels to jump out at me ideally you know i don't want to have to look too hard at levels now traders get obsessed with just sort of looking for things that no one else is is, is looking for and, and uh, you know we want to be looking for obvious levels in the market because that's what everyone else is going to be looking at including the big institutions and whatnot who are going to um sort of we're going to ride on board with anyway Continuing to retrace Friday's candle, we might find a little bit of resistance at Friday's high, but for me on the FTSE, looking for a big pullback to get long down at uh, 6943, and then looking for a potential short up here at uh, 7219. Similar business on the DAX, really. Bearish Friday, bullish today. Um, the DAX probably going to threaten those all time highs relatively soon. You can just see here how the markets uh, found some resistance, and we can look down here and uh, see how the market has found some support. So we're playing that range again around this sort of 15.653 area. There's not a great deal for me. So the relatively range bound market is looking to sell the extreme and buy the extreme as well. Now, I appreciate these patterns are achingly simple, but this is the reality of how I've traded consistently profitable for the past 10 years. It's not getting involved in the mid chop. If I want to get involved on maybe a short term time frame, look for patterns, that's fine. But we're looking at daily time frames here. So we're just looking to buy basic levels and sell basic levels. Um, and that's all trading has to be. The, the, the hard part's the discipline. You know, if you wanted to sell up here, you've got to wait for it and not jump in too early and, and vice versa as well. That's where the, the, the discipline and, and patience of trading comes. So again, for the DAX, it's simply a case of looking to sell 15,800 and buy 15,280 15, really. Then eventually it will uh, potentially push up on, on this uh, 15,800 level, then maybe look to uh, break long so the dow's been interesting we've rolled over quite significantly and today i've had a bullish engulfing candle now um the entry for me was a break back above this 33328 in fact i'm actually uh, long on the dow here i've got the final profit target up here at uh, 33836 and that was essentially um looking for this this trade to fake out you can see how it's put a big wick down here and then eventually broken back up so it will be uh so yeah we'll just have to wait and see if the market does want to come and uh do those bounces there for us the us tech's made a bit of recovery it took a while for the nasdaq to make new highs you have a look here we've got the market where it's just sort of consolidated and, and finally broken up had a couple of scalping longs on the nasdaq today on a live trade room but they're on a much shorter term time frame so it does look like we still have this ascending channel uh, yeah, I don't think there's, there's not a huge amount of daily levels actually, unusually, that uh, are particularly interesting me. And sometimes that does happen. It does look like we're wedging here, so potentially a pullback to this um, ascending wedge would be interesting. But it looks like we're, for all intents and purposes, going to be uh, testing the all time highs again this week. So I'd have thought maybe on an hourly time frame, just looking for a quick scalp market comes up. We want to get short here. But if we pull back towards that wedge, then it's all suggesting we're going to find some further upside. Now, people are constantly asking me where's fair value on the nasdaq and my answer is i don't care um you can just see how outrageously strong this market's been and how it continues to m move up and potentially wedge towards uh, this 14219 so getting short on the nasdaq is is pretty uh pretty tricky at the moment tech is still very hard even with last week's fed news where 
Um, possibly the news could have been interpreted as a bit more negative. The market's just brushed it off, came down, bought straight back up, doesn't care. Um, looks like it's potentially going to continue up. And a lot of traders do get bogged down with, oh, you know, I'm a, the market's overbought. It's, no, there's no value up here. We need to we need to sell it. And, and they get burnt every time. The trend's your friend till it ends. It's as simple as that. So for me on the NASDAQ, looking for pullbacks, these major levels, and then looking for a triangle wedge up at this 14217 to see it break long. So thank you for joining me. I hope you'll join me next week for the assets of the day, which are global indices.